Hey everybody, James here to talk with you about a small East African country named Burundi. I'll be focusing on cellulose, its extraction from Bagasi, and how it is converted into ethanol. Burundi's population relies heavily on agriculture and livestock to make a living, with 50% of all exports coming from just coffee alone. Still though, due to a lack of resources and a lack of infrastructure, most of the population remains poor. Also, the political unrest there leads to violence and terrible living conditions. Sugarcane is a major crop in Burundi, and I'm going to talk about how cellulose can be extracted from one of its byproducts, bagasse, and converted into ethanol. Cellulose is a carbohydrate and the most abundant carbon-based organic molecule in the world. It is made up of linked glucose molecules consisting of hydrogen, carbon, and oxygen. Cellulose is found inside the cell wall and performs a function similar to that of the human skeleton. It adds rigidity to the cell wall and its fibers take on a crisscross shape much like the bars found in concrete. The first step in producing ethanol from sugarcane involves extracting cellulose from its byproduct, bagasse. The bagasse is treated with hot water, dried, and then ground. It is then delignificated with NaOH washed with water, dried again, ground again, and sieved, producing cellulose. Following extraction, cellulose and hemicellulose go through hydrolysis catalyzed by enzymes. The resulting sugars are then fermented by mixing with yeast and bacteria, and the resulting ethanol is separated with distillation. Typically, this involves a simple hot water extraction of xylose and a simple water and alcohol delignification process. A better process would yield more kinetically effective cellulose, thus a better yield of ethanol. A solution to this problem involves a combination of two different methods. First, the hemicellulose can be extracted from bagasse using dilute sulfuric acid, but it leaves behind a residue. This residue can be removed with ionic liquid. The more hemicellulose you have, the more glucose you have for converting to ethanol. In total, this reaction follows first order kinetics. Developing more efficient ways of producing ethanol from sugarcane is important for a variety of reasons. The sugarcane market itself is self-sustaining and is even able to sell power back to the grid. 5% of Burundi's power also comes from sugarcane. This is important because only 6.49% of Burundi's entire population now has access to power. Developing a better method of producing ethanol from sugarcane is not only important, but lucrative. Thank you all for watching and I hope you enjoyed my video.